Okay, so I think I know what this is. It's come from the UK. Now this is a replacement shirt. Well, kind of. I've actually got this one. It's a bit of a story about that. One of my early videos, I, I, I purchased um, Podigy merchandise, right? Some shirts. One for me, one for my wife. And um, for whatever reason, they sent me a women's large shirt, not a men's large shirt. So go figure. Anyway, I got all of them and I sent a replacement out, which never arrived. So then they refunded me instead. So yeah, so I got a free women's shirt. Great. But um, they did a promotion recently and they, they gave, they halved basically was 50% off. So I thought, right, here's my opportunity. I can get the right shirt for the right price. Yeah. <laughs> And I can't find the stuff for sure. Right, so yes, awesome. So that I got that for ten bucks, well, ten pounds rather, instead of twenty pounds. So that's pretty good. That can go in my drawer with my other collection of stuff. Like, yeah, I'll do something with it. Next item. What's this? Some more LED bezels. Now these are some more five mils. Yeah, five mil ones. These are a, like a cheaper version, they're not actually profiled, like a rounded profile on the front. They're just a flat profile. But these work out quite nicely, let's get a bit closer and see them. Right. These are nice little ones, they're, just, they're for a, um, a thicker face plate, so if you've got quite a thick face plate, it will go in there just nicely. So that's quite cool. Like a project box, and like, you know, you've got a thicker plastic. Okay, next thing, let's uh, see what this is. Well, that's stuck in there pretty well. Now, well, at my work, knives are banned because they're dangerous, apparently. I worried about us, you know, cutting our legs off or something when I'm not but they're banned. Not allowed to have them. I have to use safety knives, which, in my experience, are actually more dangerous than the real knives because they're harder to use and they're awkward and you got to try and hold a blade out and sort of stuff and now they're banned those as well because I realised those are dangerous too so now you got no knives makes it pretty hard to actually not do anything so this is another prism um, this is quite an interesting pattern this one it's got like a V cut into it I'm not quite sure what the story was with this one let's get a torch and turn one of lights off at least Where's this going to go? I don't know. Get some pretty interesting angles at least. Let's turn some more lights off. It probably helps that it's getting a bit dark here. <laughs> right. Yeah, oh, I don't know, you're getting something out of it, aren't you? Uh, maybe an LED torch isn't the best thing to, to demonstrate, but hey, you get some interesting reflections and things like that. But I don't know, know. might keep kids happy for a little while, maybe. Right, next thing. What is this? Ah, fans. Cool. So these fans here are purchased with the intent of um, replacing the fan in the fluke. So there's actually two fans in this packet here. These are these are 12 volt fans. Are those spare ones. Those are the spare ones. I, I purchased a few different fans actually. I bought, I bought some mains power ones and some 24 volt ones and some 12 volt ones. These are 12 volt ones. Bag of screws. I need this packet though. Is it falling out there? Did this one come with a bag of screws? Yes, there's two bags of screws in that one. But this one's only got three screws in it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, whatever. I don't tend to I tend to bolt through anyway. But obviously these fell out because this, this one's all torn. Why is that one all torn I wonder? Interesting. But these are supposed to be quite quiet fans. Um Wish my air condition was quiet, I tell you. Right, so let's try this out. Somehow. See how noisy this fan is if I can get onto the pins without shorting it all out. 
I'll just apply one key anyway. Fill in when it volts. That is a very quiet fan. I'm holding it up to the microphone. Side on. That's very quiet, that's good. Airflow, yeah, adequate. Hmm, I think that was around already though. We'll see. Might be a bit too cheap. We'll see. But yeah, so I've got four of those. I've ordered, I've ordered a bunch of other ones as well. So 12 volts, um, 24 volts, and 240 volt. I've ordered. So, um, yeah. Okay, next thing. <laughs> this is why. Now, these project boxes. I'm gonna get back out of my room by the time I finish this. It's, the floor's a bit full. So, a few different sizes. Got these slightly smaller ones here and these larger ones. Now, these I have earmarked for this USB unit. So, um, I wasn't quite sure which size I'd better fit it into. Or even how they fit. I mean, they might fit okay like that. I'm going that way around. No, not with a wire sticking out. It might just squeeze in that way. Might just go. Um, I might put it in a bigger box just to make sure it's got a bit of air around it. Maybe I don't know, but so that's that's the plan is for this. This is full part of my bench lighting project where I've got a 12 volt supply which I've to turn off my bench lighting, which also powers this with a 5 volt system as well. Um, this thing was rated at 20 watts apparently. So it's got like a all it really got is a is a DC to DC converter on the board here. And some smoothing caps. That's all it is. You know, that's all that's in there. You can actually look down the side, you can see, it's, see some of the part number information. But uh, yeah, oh, that's all right. This seems to work okay. But that is the plan. Is the one of these boxes for this? For this. I wasn't quite sure which size I'd need. Okay, one more thing. This has been a major session. I've been doing this for an hour. <laughs> Lots of things to unpack this time. Left it too long. Don't forget to watch the links down the bottom. Go to the links. Especially for these. Now these are from Banggood. Here we go. Courtesy of Banggood. At no charge to me. No cost. Provided free of charge. So um, this is for purpose of review. So let's have a look and see if I can get into here. Have a look at them. I have to think about what I'll do to actually test these out because um, I'm not exactly prepared of hand. So, box there, little manual thing. So, it's supposed to be, as you can see here, 2 by 3 watts, 5 volt, 1 amp supply. These actually run off a USB connection. Right, so, these are great for a laptop. So, you can plug them into the laptop, plug the audio in. And in theory, have decent sound. We'll see. Um, based on these, it's probably what are these going to be? Obviously, frequency response 100 hertz to 200 kilohertz. We'll see. They're pretty small speakers, mate. 100 hertz is probably pushing it. 